Okay, so step one is removing the front and rear sights from the bow. Now the rear sights will vary a lot between bows, but basically you just got to get all the components off to get down to the final piece that's attached to the bow. So in this case, uh, taking this top sight off. and then removing this rail here and save this screw as this is going to be used again to reattach the auto loader to the bow you simply remove that put all that on the side and the front is usually just a simple bolt and nut That's that. Next, we want to take the auto loader and use the medium size Allen key that's included, remove the front bolt. Put that on the side as well. And when you're fitting to the bow, you want to put these tabs behind the safety. so and then the front tabs go into the front sight indentation might be a little snug as we push it on to fit now <clears throat> with varying size bows this distance can change so this comes pre-sized for the longer size rails but you may find that you have a bow like this when you place the auto loader on the bow, you can see it is definitely too long. In which case we take the largest Allen key from the pack and in the front section is adjustable. So you turn clockwise to shorten, counterclockwise to lengthen. Well, there should rarely be a need to ever lengthen it because it's pre-sized for the longer bow. You just turn it in you turn it inward until there you go and make sure it's tight to the back fitting in in front and then we can simply take the original screws that were used in the back the rail off initially and use that to attach the back of the bow. Just snug, no need to over tighten. And the screw that we removed initially from the auto loader, put that back in. And simply screw that into place. Again, just snug, no need to over tighten. And that's it. The auto loader is ready to load bolts. Now, for loading the magazine, you just simply pinch these two spring loaded clips here and lift it open. To close, you can just slam it closed as they're spring loaded, so no need to have to pinch them. Now when loading, the first bolt's the most important. You want to drop it down straight so that it looks like that and is lying flat on the rail. There's a chance that you could potentially, see if I can do this the wrong way. There we go. 
So it could end up falling in vertically like that sitting in the rail. Obviously, the gun won't fire like that and it'll jam. So you just have to make sure the first, first one lies flat like that. Then the rest, we can simply drop in and they will fall into place. Seven bolts, ready to shoot. Now for the speed loader, simply take the bolts, pop them in one at a time. pre-sized for plastic bolts, this adjustable auto loader. And then to load, simply open the auto loader, put this little tab in this little hole to help with alignment, and then push down. And they'll all fall in, ready to shoot. Now, like I said, this is adjustable in case you want to use aluminum bolts they're a little bit wider diameter, so this would need to move. So we can adjust this so now it can slide up and down. Now we can put the bolts in. Put some downward pressure. No, not that much downward pressure. On here, basically pinch it, put the pressure this way so that we know we're holding these bolts tight, and then tighten this adjustment screw. Just snug, no need to wrench it down. And then they're tight in there and ready for loading. One last note regarding bolts. I recommend the plastic bolts. They're cheapest and honestly, they're the most durable. Uh, for aluminum bolts, there's two main types. The two piece type, which uh, unfortunately over time after sinking them in targets, when you go to pull it out, this piece will come out. I know that didn't look easy, but when this is buried in a target, these things come out and then this leaves buried in the target. And then this other type, which is a solid bolt, which is nice except for the fact that these little rubber fins that are glued on, as you can see, after a few shots into targets, these get pretty beat up and munged up and then won't sit right in the loader, could easily jam. And one final thing, this does fit broadhead bolts as long as the tip width it's not wider than 17 millimeters. These that look like this will fit. These, as you can tell, are wider. Don't have any of the holes drilled in them. They look more like a razor blade just sit in there as opposed to a bolt. They're a lot thinner. These will not fit. These will. And that's it.